So welcome back friends. Do I have a fun video for you? The video we've all been waiting for, or I'm very curious to find out, can the new cordless, the wireless cordless worm drive saws hang with, well, the industry setting standard, the, the skill worm drive saws. I mean, this is the saw that has probably built the majority of the houses out west here anyway for the last 50 years, if not almost all of them or a variant of them. Finally, we're starting to see some really nice cordless tools from DeWalt's one, Makita's another, uh, that claim to be able to replace these. I will be so glad to cut the cord on these saws. Let's find out today if they can even compare. a quick look at these two saws as this is the standard for the framing industry for the construction industry has been for years and years or variants of them uh, the mag 77 skill saw the worm drive saw this is a very powerful saw super versatile and something that probably a lot of you have in your garage my uh, grandfather had these my dad's had dozens of these i've got probably three of them kicking around here um, and they're just the workhorse you, you can pretty pretty much do anything with them but the biggest drawback, of course, is the cord. And especially when you're working in remote locations like what we have, where I might be a long ways away and I'm relying upon generators or several hundred feet of extension cords, it's really a nuisance. And it's every time I grab, it's, it's, I'm getting spoiled. You know, we're getting spoiled with the cordless tools are getting so good that when you have to deal with the cord, it's just tough. So on the, the DeWalt side, and before we start, this is not a paid product endorsement. I bought this full retail with my own money. I'm going to call it like I see it. I'm going to say it as it is. I'm not beholden to anyone. So just in case you're wondering, you never know. All right. So this is the DeWalt, the FlexVolt 12 volt battery, or, or excuse me, 20 volt, 60 volt variable. You know, I'm not going to go into the details, but the battery goes into here. They both use the same blade, the seven and a quarter inch blade, um, magnesium base, magnesium base, a lot of metal in this. It's really uh, seems to be put together very well. Feels very solid. Weight wise, they're pretty similar. I don't know exact what the weight is, but the features are going to be similar. Uh, we're going to have, you know, be able to bevel. Uh, we've got um, uh, what else? We have uh, depth or depth gauge. Uh, we've got our stop set. I mean, they're they're basically this the same thing. What I'm really interested in finding out is power wise, because these are powerful saws and it's for a cordless to be able to, to, to keep up with one of these um, I actually to be honest with you I'm a little bit skeptical so how I've decided to test these saws is is a rip test this is a full dimension me it's a full two by I think it's a two by eight two by ten but it's a full two inches thick of Douglas fir and it's it's dry and pr pretty hard I've snapped four chalk lines in here at one inch increments and we're gonna do we're gonna rip full length down one end turn and come back and we're gonna time this now this is a a lot to ask of a saw I mean nothing t tax tasks a saw harder um, than a long rip like this especially in dry harder wood it's not hard like oak but but reasonably hard uh, as far as uh, for fur this is common and this is going to be the most common species that we're going to be using out here and then we'll see who comes out on top so let's go take a look at the blades that I've selected so I wanted this to be as fair as possible in, in a perfect world I would have the exact same blades but they're very similar so this is the blade that came with uh, the DeWalt it's a what is it it's a, it's a general purpose framing blade should be a 24 tooth yeah a 24 tooth framing blade uh, carbide that is brand new this is the same. This is a brand new, never used, 24 tooth carbide blade. This is a Freud, 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 whatever, high quality blade, no question about it. Um, if I were to give an advantage of the blade, now uh, I, this might actually be a better blade, but they're both being, th this is the best I can offer you. This is what I have in my inventory. All right, let's do this. Let's start, we'll start with the Mag 77. We'll don. I remember the first time I heard Don and Doff. Don and Doff at the fire department. We'll don our safety equipment here. And commence with our test. Starting with the Mag 77 skill saw on two rips through full dimension two by. Three, two, one.
Now that was pushing, I was pushing the saw, not to a stall, but until the, the motor was definitely, you know, winding down. Uh, that was as fast as I could go with a brand new blade. So that was pretty quick. That's going to be tough to beat. All right, now for the DeWalt, we've got a, the brand new uh, carbide blade that came with it. We've got a uh, fully charged uh, uh, factory battery, one of, the, uh, one of the, the newest ones I have. And we'll see what happens. On three, two, one. Wow, 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 that's powerful. That's really fast. So what do we learn from this? Well, first thing we learned is, is if you're gonna do a test like this, you should be using a rip guide uh, because I my lines got covered with sawdust and I couldn't see them and I was going through like that, putting ex excess bind on the blade and slowing it down a little bit. That, in that respect, the skill actually had a little bit of a benefit being the first cut was clear and, and nice and straight. So that was kind of on me. But what I, uh, I don't know what the time is yet because I've got to go in on the post edit and I'll see. what they were but I have it seems to me that this was way way faster it had a lot more power which really surprised me um, because those 77s are just I mean they're those are powerful saws they're they're intimidating saws I mean you pull the trigger and they they jerk um, here's the bottom line with these cordless tools though um, of course, you know the drill. How many of you have used, used a corded drill uh, uh, after having a good quality cordless? Um, you know, very, very few of us, unless you have very specific jobs. And and the, what I'm starting to find out is that the, if I buy high quality cordless tools, I'm not using the other ones. And I know that because perfect example. You know, I got a, I've got a cordless sawzall. I haven't once used any of my corded sawzalls since I've had this. There's just no need. They're so these are so good, and to be able to get rid of the cord and have a battery that you know that works with everything, uh, all your tools is very convenient. Same way with the nail gun. You know, my my Senko finish nailer was starting to die. I just ran. I just used it and used it and used it. And when I went to replace it, I was looking at these and I thought, well, I've already got the batteries and I don't have to buy a battery so you can save, you know, a little bit that way. And I went with uh, with, with the DeWalt finish nailer and I, I, I mean, no more cord, no more airline, no more compressor. I mean, it simplifies jobs. Um, it is so beyond convenient. Now, as far as brand goes, it doesn't, I don't think it really matters. I'm only featuring DeWalt uh, because that's what I'm invested in with my battery system. I've got all the batteries and the chargers. It would be foolish for me to go buy uh, Makita or Porter Cable or Milwaukee and start that whole process over again. It's just like photography equipment. You know, I'm invested in Canon. I've got Canon lenses and Canon batteries and Canon chargers and accessories. It would be foolish for me to go buy Sony or Nikon because it's a huge investment uh, to go. And it's an inconvenience to have multiple batteries and multiple things. So I just don't re recommend it. So whatever you decide on, whether it be Milwaukee or, um, or Makita, Makita has one of these uh, very similar, probably just as good, um, just to kind of stick with that. Because now I have, I'm phasing all the other stuff out and now I have DeWalt. That's what I've went with and, and now I have all the batteries and everything's interchangeable like in a pinch You know, I can use any of these batteries anywhere I can use the same big flex bolt batteries in my cordless drills or I can snap it out in my table saw or I can snap it out in my worm drive saw or my nailer or my reciprocating saw or, or whatever uh, so it's convenience. Uh, that's what we're paying for. They're going to be, they're more expensive than their corded brethren. You know, buy it usually $100, $125, $50. Um, nail guns are more expensive than your pneumatic nail guns. But what are we paying for? Convenience. The trade-off is there's probably there's not the longevity. I don't I don't care what anyone says. These are but these are put together very well. I mean it's got a magnesium frame and but it's it's cordless. It's it's plastic and it's got batteries that are going to fail and go away. So yeah, it's quite possible 
that the Mag 77, you're going to have one that belonged to your dad or your grandfather, and it's still going to be working and still going along um, just fine. Um, these, well, they're, they're more disposable, not so much, but it's convenience. And what is that worth to you uh, to get to cut that cord and to get away from all of the cords and all that stuff? So you'll have to, you'll have to make that decision and, and judge. But this is legit. And I'll tell you right now, um, I will... I just I, I don't think that the Mag 77 will probably ever see use uh, again, provided as long as this is running. I'm not I'm never gonna grab that. I'm never gonna deal with a cord. It's not as powerful. Um, it's not as um, convenient. Uh, it's these are just they're just they're just better. They're just simply better um, with with those few takeaways. So. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.